In this video, we are going to go over the Laravel code structure or the file structure contained with a new Laravel app. So I'm going to go ahead and open up all of the files inside of my finder. And you can see that we have the folder structure for a basic Laravel application in front of us. So I'm just going to go over each of these folders and kind of give a brief summary of what each of these do and what they contain. So the app folder is the directory that has all of our application logic. This is the folder where we put all of our models, controllers, services, and many other classes. The bootstrap folder is what is used to bootstrap Laravel or start up Laravel. The config is where a lot of our configurations for our application will go. Our database is where our migrations and seeds will go. We'll go over the migrations and seeds in a later video. Inside of the public is where all of our assets will go. This, these will be all the files that are publicly available through our application. And this is also where our virtual host points to. Then we go to our resources folder, and this is where all of our views will live. So a lot of the files that the front end user sees, there's a lot of the HTML, different kinds of structure of our application. The way it looks is going to live inside of this resources folder. It's where all of our views will live. All right, and the storage folder is where all of the cache and log files are going to live. This is all built in with Laravel that automatically caches certain files and stores error logs and access logs. So then the test folder, it depends if you're using PHP unit or some other type of unit testing framework, uh, then you can put all of your tests inside of this folder. And the vendor folder is where all of our third-party libraries will live. This is where all of our composer packages are going to be installed. And we went over composer just a little bit, and we will probably go into a little bit further about adding a few composer packages in future videos. But this is essentially where all of our third-party libraries and classes are going to live. And I will go over the composer.json is where we define which composer packages we want to include in our application. And then one last file that I will point out is the .env file. This is where our database credentials are going to go and a couple other configurations from our app. And before I end the video, there's one more file that I want to point out, which is inside of app HTTP. And this is the routes.php file. This is where all the routes for our application are going to live. And this is actually what we are going to go over in the next video.